Hello everyone. My name is Pradeep Vishwamohan and I'm a part of the security services at Akamai. If your application is delivered by Akamai, the platform automatically protects you from any layer 3, layer 4 attacks. In my previous video, I've covered how we can protect you against the layer 7 attacks with the Conesite Defender. And in this video, we're going to talk about the next layer, which is a layer 8 attack. But there is no layer 8 in the OSI model. So what I'm referring to here is a bot attack, which is a quasi layer 8 attack because it's very sophisticated, highly distributed and a highly motivated attack at a low and a steady rate, which is almost undetectable. If so, how does Akamai detect this? So we use machine learning to identify any request that's not coming from a human by assessing the telemetry such as the keyboard events, the mouse events, the gyroscope data, the rate at which the inputs are being processed, etc. So let's take a look at uh, all of the different reporting around Lunar Control Center for Bot Manager. So we use this using a demo account. And in Lunar Control Center, the first thing you do is go to Security Center. And that's available under Monitor Security Center. So, so this page here is the bot trends. So it gives you a high level picture as you can see from the different metrics here the action applied and it's interesting to note that the actions are not just monitor and deny as we saw in the KRS. It includes additional actions such as tarpet which simply does not respond to a request and there's a few more actions that are not covered here. So you can see the overlay of traffic and the categories that are getting detected, the policies, the host names and the countries. And for a more detailed analysis, let's take a look at web security analytics. And that is under here in web security analytics. So the bot category here, so you can see that under bot management, you've got bot category and botnet ID. So the bot category shows you the various detection techniques that was used in detecting the bots. We have a wide range of techniques starting from looking at the request anomalies, the bot impersonators, to a very sophisticated technique of identifying any behavior anomaly, which is our gold standard in bot detection. So the botnet IDs here are basically grouped based on the bot characteristics. And this is quite helpful during analysis or an incident response. And in addition to these, so the sample log view that's here, so that gives a very, very detailed breakdown of all of the request headers, the response headers, and everything that you need to know on a per request basis. Hope you found this little walkthrough useful. Thank you.